Do you want to maximize your shell benefits and pay less in taxes? Today, we're going to talk about the flexible spending account. Within your shell benefits, you have access to two flexible spending accounts. There's the dependent care FSA, which is used for childcare expenses, and there's the healthcare FSA, which is used for healthcare expenses. Today, we're going to focus on the healthcare FSA. To have access to the healthcare FSA, you have to be on a lower deductible health plan like the PPO. Now, with an FSA, money comes out of your paycheck pre tax and goes into a reimbursement account. When you have qualified expenses, you submit those for reimbursement and get that money out tax free. So, today, let's talk about the benefit, the risk, and three important dates. First, let's start with the benefit. The maximum you can put into this upcoming FSA is $3,050. This benefit is based on your tax rate. So we're going to assume for this example that you're in the 35% tax bracket and you're also paying the Medicare surcharge. Now, in addition, your state tax rate would also apply here. So when you sum all of this up, your benefit can be greater than $1,100. Now, let's talk about the risk. With an FSA, it is a use it, or lose it account. So you do not want to overfund this account. Now the list of things that can be submitted for reimbursement is quite extensive. So in addition to healthcare expenses, you can also do over-the-counter medication and prescription medication, as well as dental and vision expenses. So it's pretty easy to get to this 30-50 limit, especially if you have a family, but it's still important to be cautious that you don't overfund it. And lastly, let's talk about three important dates. First is this upcoming annual enrollment. You must set up your FSA each year and update the amount that you want to contribute. Once it is set in annual enrollment, you cannot change it throughout the year without a qualifying life event. Next is the calendar end of next year. So for your 2024 FSA, all expenses that you're going to use for reimbursement must be done during the 2024 calendar year. And the last date that's important is March 31st of the following year, so 2025. This is the last date that you can submit for reimbursement for expenses that happened during the 2024 calendar year. If you have questions on FSAs or other shell benefits, I encourage you to enroll in my webinar coming up on annual enrollment.